Hello, beautiful souls. I feel that just hearing that may have opened someone's mind in a powerful way. I feel also, with the root chakra card, it's almost as though the mind wants to solve something here. The mind wants to figure something out, to structure something, to make some kind of plan. But what the guides are actually admonishing is really to ground yourself, to cultivate a sense of inner peace and inner stability, and allow that to begin reflecting or showing up in your life as your external reality matches that vibration you are cultivating within yourself. I'm hearing, whenever you feel yourself getting into this anxious problem-solving mode, trying to figure things out through the mind, it may be symptomatic that you are not fully surrendering to the divine timing of your life and to the timing that is at play even in this situation. It's almost as though someone may be trying to rush or push ahead to some kind of solution or end point. They also could be doing this because of feeling pressure from people around them. So there may be people around you saying things like, what's going on? What's happening with this situation? When is this going to move forward? I know that won't be for everyone, but if that is for you, yeah, that's coming up as the Six of Wands reversed. Someone feeling as though they failed, as though people are judging them or, in a sense, almost like inundating them with questions or a sense of pressure, even if that's not coming consciously. But the soul knows that you are exactly where you are meant to be. I'm hearing, the mind is always trying to get somewhere else whereas the soul is capable of fully surrendering into the present moment, knowing that the present moment is actually a portal. It is a point of power through which you can step through a doorway into an entirely transformed reality, but only if you have the courage to surrender to the present, to surrender to where you are. So, with the garden and the gate and the attachment card, I feel like your heart might be feeling stuck on something here, and this may actually require deploying some of your boundaries. Because I feel as though your guides are really asking you to analyse how other people are connecting with you, how they are influencing you, and particularly to set boundaries around the information that you give other people, depending on how they tend to connect with you. So, for example, if you find that when you're around a particular person, they seem to connect you to lower vibrational conversations, almost as though you feel worse or more distraught or anxious after speaking with them. That might be a sign that this person is actually at a lower vibration themselves. And so when they connect with you and you overstep your own boundaries and share information with this person, because they can't perceive that information from your higher level perspective, they will actually unconsciously pull you down to their perspective of the situation. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.